What's up guys? This is Topic Tuesday that I film on a Wednesday and show on a Thursday. If you're new to the channel, this is a show where I take various topics and talk about them on a Tuesday. Usually. This week's topic is actually inspired by something that Elliot said in last week's video that I kind of agree with. If you haven't seen that video yet, you should really check it out. In the news recently, there has been a shitload of issues ranging from inequality among gamers to racism and injustice, but no matter the issue, everybody has an opinion and a majority of them think they're right. And there's nothing wrong with that. The beauty of the internet is that everyone can have a voice. But the one thing I find common amongst many of these social issue videos is everyone loves to bring awareness, but hardly anyone discusses actions. Awareness for issues is great, but I personally believe after a while, it's only going to get you so far. For example... Whoa, hey, I don't think you should cross there. You might get hit by a car. Whatever. You shouldn't cross there. Somebody just got hit by a car. You will too. What? Therefore, we need to discuss the actions to make the situation better. Look, man, you ain't crossing that street. Okay, that's a little extreme, but you get what I'm saying, right? Elliot showed me the video that made him think what he thought what he thunk, and it got me thinking the same thing as well. The title of the video is 25 Invisible Benefits of Gaming While Male by the channel Feminist Frequency. While the video was very well done and informative, I couldn't help but feel like this at the end of the video. Together, we will make gaming better. That's it? How do I change anything with that? I do want to point out that the video does say we need to be aware of the problem and take responsibility as a community. But that's it. We could be aware and take responsibility all day long, but how does one take responsibility? If you're gonna argue in favor of this video, you're gonna tell me it comes from the word responsibility. Meaning that when you're online and you see abuse, you report it. If somebody gets threatened, you report it. You take down gamer tags, you go to the game developers, you go to the network, etc. If that is the case, you just listed off like 10 things that came from the word responsibility. A big problem I have with these social issue videos is that they are so well done and thought out, so intellectually informative, that I feel that they miss out on the key ingredient. And that is trying to reach as many people as possible. I say this because not everyone has the same intent to like to be able to decipher what they need to do to change things or what their responsibilities are from one word. Everyone learns at a different pace and I can say that confidently because being someone who has dyslexia, I've spent my whole life playing catch up to everyone intellectually. The main point I'm trying to make about many of these videos is they need to break things down to the simplest of terms. Let me go ahead and tell you how Feminist Frequency can easily improve their video. And I'm not hating on this video by any means guys, it is a really solid video. And it's a very serious issue because females are not treated equally amongst the gaming community and it needs to stop. So the easiest way for them to improve their video would be this. When they say we need to take responsibility as a community, add this. And this is how. List things. Boom, bitch! You just took things to the simplest of terms! Everybody wins! That would be a huge benefit to all of these videos. If you haven't picked up on it by now, I am totally fighting a stuffy nose, and that is why my whole video sounds monotone. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, at least these people are trying to bring awareness to issues unlike you, Juicebox. And to that, I would say you are 100% correct. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not the Lacey Greens or the Philip DeFrancos of the world. The reason why you won't find me posting videos about social issues a lot is because one, I don't feel like I could 100% explain them correctly to you, and two, I like to be happy. What I mean by that is posting about social issues is a 24 hour a day job. How do you go about picking a social issue? Do you just go with popular opinion at the moment? Because I personally don't see how one issue is more important than the next. And that's one reason why you won't find me posting social issues on the reg. Because can you honestly sit there and tell me that gay marriage is more important than say, the rape crisis in India? Or the crazy shit that's going on with ISIS in Iraq? Or hell, maybe even the racism and injustice is going on in America at the same time right now. You can even throw equality and gaming in there too. You're gonna tell me that one of those issues is more important than the next? If someone wants to change the world by bringing awareness to all of these issues, I fucking applaud you. But I couldn't do that myself because I can't be reminded every day about the craziness that goes on in this world. The way I want to change the world is by putting a smile on your face. If you're having a shitty day and you watch this video or any of my other videos and you smile and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna make my day better. Boom! World change, bitch. <clears throat> I want to change the world through happiness and positivity opposed to, hey, this world really sucks, we should change it. That's just my personal choice because I feel that when people are happy, they want other people around them to be happy as well. So, i rather change the world with laughs and smiles than...
So that's where I want to end today's video, guys. But before I go, I want to encourage you. When you watch your favorite YouTubers, big or small, and they make social issue videos like this, I encourage you to ask how you can change things. If they say the world needs blood donations, ask, how do I donate? If they say there's a petition to legalize gay marriage everywhere, ask, how do I sign up? If they say there are free tacos, ask, how do I get those free tacos? Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video, favorite it if you like, share it with all your friends on social media, and let's have a fight in the comment section down below. As always, guys, I am your host, Juicebox. Remember, when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself something. If I had my daily dose of juice, see you guys next time.